I'm on the go, uh, da, 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 walking through my home. Maybe I should just check this off on my watch and then it goes away on here. Ooh, imagination. No, seriously, that's, that's what I do. Yeah, so here's the thing. I may or may not have in previous situations uh, <clears throat> said I wasn't gonna quit Notion for task management and I've been an all-in-one workspace boy. But for all intents and purposes, this video is gonna dive into why I've actually strayed away from that. And if you stick around to the end of this video, you'll find that this specific use case will actually make a lot more sense than what you'll experience in other places. So first and foremost, I really do like Notion. Okay, I am arguably not only Notion's biggest critic, but also Notion's biggest fanboy. I use this app for literally everything, from project management to task management to knowledge management. I have basically been living, for lack of a better phrase, inside of Notion, as uncomfortable as that sounds, for the last four years. Oh, that made me uncomfortable to think about. And as you can see here, I have a myriad of different tasks inside of here, all of my content management within here, including tasks for team members. All of the weekly recurring projects are in here. We got lots going on, and I mean lots. But what we don't have anymore is, drum roll please, basic habits and like life things that don't really require a computer. Because like, why would they be here? I came to this realization, one, mainly because I, as the world's biggest productivity dork. Switch to using an Apple Watch. Now the Apple Watch is great. However, they ain't no Notion app on here, okay? We don't have a Notion app on this magnificent product on my wrist. However, we did have a Todoist app. We had a Things 3 app, we had Reminders, and I realized, I think Things is a solid product, but I don't wanna buy it. Reminders is fine, but I ain't using a default Mac app. Wait, Todoist is 12 out of 10. Why don't I just take all of my basic recurring tasks that are life oriented and put them on here? Like for example, did I go for a walk or run today? Well, I mean, yes. Did I ice or squish my, stretch my quad today? Yeah, huh? Did I take some vitamins? You know what? I'm on the go, uh, da, 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 walking through my home. Maybe I should just check this off on my watch and then it goes away on here. Ooh, imagination. No, seriously, that's, that's what I do. I also dusted and swift today and I don't have any of the problems I did prior or previously because of the whole leaving my phone situation, I would have to go to my computer and check off basic house tasks. Yeah, that made no sense. That sounds like a guy who really has a lot of computer time on his hands. And I didn't wanna do that anymore. So all I needed to do was go into Todoist, make a simple project for a backlog of tasks that I do out of habit every day, but just as a quick double check for today, I have not in fact rehabbed my MCL. I have not taken a shot of turmeric. And no, I did not finish the dishes or journal yet. Sorry, sue me, don't actually. But I could always walk around inside of my apartment or otherwise and check my watch really quick and I know whether I've done some of the basic habits that I need to on a daily basis to live a more healthy and I don't wanna say productive life because honestly, I don't know what's productive about taking a shot of turmeric. Keeps the inflammation low though, gotta love it. It's really, a great alternative to Notion though, for task management. I'm able to quickly capture tasks on here. Also with this, I can put anything that's you know a little quick and oriented like call mom today. And then after I press save, it'll go into my backlog. And I did in fact call my mom today. Shout out mom for being so great. <laughs> and then uh, after that's all done, I can check it off on my watch again or my computer if I'm there. And it's just a much easier experience. If I were somebody looking for a basic to-do list without having the functionality of a Notion built in, I would recommend doing Todoist or Reminders or any apps like this. But for these, in order to map new meetings to clients, uh, it's like in my backlog of tasks, I should just utilize my computer. It makes more sense. Same with tasks that are oriented for the computer, but don't necessarily require me to open them and see it. Responding to emails, kind of something you have to do on the computer. I really enjoy the way that this system works for me. I know that there are a lot of different options out there, but if you like this video and wanna see more basic explanations about how apps work or wanna see more in-depth examples of how apps work together or by themselves, make sure to check out other content on this channel like this one on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.